Welcome ladies and gents to OG Star Wars. Hello everyone, this is your Legends girl, OG Star Wars, and I just want to touch basis on the announcement that Disney Lucasfilm and basically Disney in general has made regarding new shows coming up on Disney Plus and what that means for my channel and what I want to just dissect a little bit more about what that means in general to the Lord. All right, so we do first one, you know, we seen is the announcement of the Ahsoka and we knew that was coming and we knew that she was going to be expanded with her own um, show. And what I have to say about that is I still hold to the truth about who, you know, when she's really supposed to have passed away in the Star Wars lore, according to George Lucas. Um, again, he's not in charge anymore. He's not a part of the overall planning. He's not even the owner anymore. So, of course, Disney Lucasfilm will allow, you know, or do their own thing. And that's the thing is that they are creating their own, um, their own lore. They're rewriting everything. And so this is one of them. And with Ahsoka, we know that she went back to Malachor. She wasn't stranded because if you look into the lore, she basically went to another port portal, which is known or said to be a place where she had a spiritual journey. And I will do another video according to my theory about her becoming a force goddess or something or priestess or whatever you wanna call that. So now we're gonna get into the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch basically is just a continuation of the Clone Wars in another light within the Bad Batch or the, the defect clones or the clones in general. And again, it is gonna be something that is going to convolute, I believe, the PT era and the end of Revenge of the Sith and into the new or into the Empire era. And um, so again, like I said, Disney Lucasfilm has every right to rewrite the property. That's what they're doing. And um, I don't hold um, any faith in Filoni to keep into continuity with the movies and stuff. So that's just my take. And from experience watching everything go down, growing up loving Star Wars, um, I just don't hold him in high regards. He did do some good stuff, I will admit, but um, most of the Clone Wars I don't care for. I do care for selected episodes and that's okay. And then we have the, um, the Rogue Squadron. Now, we got to remember, again, like I said, <laughs> this is Disney Lucasfilm lore. There's already novels expanding on Rogue Squadron and um, the squad squadrons after Return of the Jedi. So this is not going to be the same Luke and Wedge um, creating Rogue Squadron after the Rogue Leader in honor of him in the original lore. So we're going to remember everything that has occurred within the squadrons and the history that's already established that's going to pertain to that. So again, another rewrite. There you go. And then we also have Obi-Wan Kenobi and I love the Kenobi novel. That's one of my most favorite novels within the original lore, the original EU. And that expands on um, him after Return or Revenge of the Sith. And um, the story of him trying to connect and train and learn from Qui-Gon and him not trying to act as a Jedi, even though he's still training as a Jedi and protecting Luke, all of that. Now this is 10 years after, and then also gonna have Darth Vader in this. So that means that there's gonna be both of them on the same screen. There is a, um, assumptions from what, um, what Disney Lucasfilm Associates said that this is gonna there's gonna be another rematch, which again destroys the OT A New Hope. Okay, so I am not looking forward to that. The Kenobi novel and Kenobi Obi Wan Kenobi's um, arc between three and four, I really really love in the original lore. And then we have um, Rangers of the New Republic, which I'm guessing is going to be a Cara Dune um, spinoff show. So we'll see how that develops. And then we also have the droid stories. And I have one zooming around right now. I apologize. And 
And then we also have Star Wars Acolyte, which basically is towards the end of the High Republic with Yoda and um, the other woman, I can't think of her name, um, but the super Jedi girl. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so I don't have any, um, any hopes or anything with these or any expectations other than I know that they're rewriting the lore and it has nothing to do with my channel. Now you guys can go ahead and get into them, do whatever you want, you know, enjoy them, whatever. It's your choice. But with my channel, I am focusing on George Lucas' era of Star Wars. I will still have some news and compare and contrast between the lore is what I see. So I will still kind of keep track of some of the stuff if I'm going to compare and contrast a certain um, point, like um, Rogue Squadron versus X-Wing novels and how that, how, you know, how they are similar and not similar, compare and contrast kind of thing. But other than that, this does not affect my channel. And then, you know, there's also there's Andor and Visions. Um, so it is what it is, but I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I am paying attention to the new announcements and um, I don't have any expectations. I probably won't get into them. My heart stays with George Lucas era of Star Wars. Um, and however, if you're going to get into them, I hope you enjoy and I hope you um, love the adventure they're creating for you um, on screen. And we can still discuss this on Twitter. And of course, thank you 19k fox not my luke and i also pointed out on twitter um about how there's no spin-off shows for luke skywalker and just you know again they have every right to recreate the characters and the character arc for them but we all know the direction or how associates over there at the company feel about him especially when we see the big x on his face so it's no surprise that there's not a luke skywalker um, spin-off show in this era of Star Wars, especially after we uh, Return of the Jedi. So thank you so much and um, Please leave in your comments below which ones you're excited for what how do you feel about all this? All these shows coming out this huge announcement You know share with me in the comments below and let me know how you feel about um, the expansion of Disney Lucasfilm or Disney Star Wars on Disney Plus Again, have a great day and may the force be with you.